I just really wanted to come and share with you some of the experiences I have being a relatively new uh, GM. Uh, I've been in place for about nine months, so I am certainly learning a lot, um, being a sponge. But uh, there are certainly some things that uh, I wanted to share, even with my short time uh, within the co-op world. Talking about embracing change with courageous leadership, I wondered how best could I share this? And it reminded me instantly of something that my wife and I have done for the last 18 plus years um, in uh, a sort of a sign that we had developed. And that sign is what we call be the bamboo. So we do this. And so you'll see this lovely picture of um, a bamboo forest. Uh, I had uh, actually lived for a portion of my childhood in Japan, my heritage is Japanese. And I was always uh, marveled by the wonderful bamboo forest. But I also learned that bamboo provides us with a lot of wisdom. And so I wanted to take you through some of that wisdom today and what I've experienced at the co-op. So um, I don't know how many of you are aware of bamboo, but uh, on the surface, bamboo looks very fragile. But it's a very strong plant. Uh, in some ways, it might be even a super plant. Um, it can endure very harsh and cold winters, but at the same time also endure uh, very hot and humid temperatures. And in the aftermath of a typhoon, uh, most of the times of the remaining trees that remain, bamboo tends to be that plant. At the same time, it responds to even the slightest breeze, as well as the strongest winds. And another thing about bamboo is that if you ever cut a bamboo, it is hollow on the inside, which is a great reminder to say that for us to all collectively be able to seek new perspectives, really put those preconceived notions to the side that we must be able to accept and really invite new things. Now, having worked at City Market for a short time, but seeing how busy it is, we have a staff of about 230. Uh, we engage with uh, over 11,000 members. We operate in a very cozy space of 12,000 square feet, generating about 40 million in annual sales. Uh, you can imagine that things are very busy. And in addition to that, because of obviously Bernie's influence and his referencing social capitalism, thank you, I saw the hand up there, you know, he has actually uh, shared with the media the work of the co-op in Burlington. And so in addition to the ongoing challenges, you know, we are approached, sometimes very last minute, by media, whether it be local media, but even global media, uh, asking us for interviews to say, what is this co-op that Bernie references as being absolutely huge. <laughs> and of course, we try to accommodate as best as possible. So this area of flexibility, this area to be able to adjust, even with plans that we have, my day, as much as I like to plan it out and have certain things I want to achieve, gets influenced very quickly and very often by things of the unexpected. Another characteristic of the bamboo is about how he has the ability to bounce back, to spring back, in the face of adversity. We know and we realize that we ask our staff and our board a tremendous amount of commitment to the co-op. And as part of that, uh, one of the things that we have done traditionally is when we have sort of a peak time coming up, whether that be Thanksgiving, whether that be around holidays, uh, we celebrate in advance with our staff by essentially doing what I call appreciative food and fun, and we do pizza parties. Now, we don't necessarily take everyone out to a pizza place, although we would love to. We order pizza in, and we order it across a number of shifts over a number of days. And this is about 30 pies at a time. And the fact that uh, they disappear so quickly, we believe it's being well appreciated. But in addition to that, we've also tried to have a bit more fun with that. And so more recently, we've had a, basically a pizza consumption training that happens a week before that pizza is arriving, just to have everyone know that they need to gear up to make sure that their stomachs are ready for that additional pizza. Once again, to have a little fun in this. With our board, we certainly have our monthly board meetings, but we've also had a number of special mini retreat sessions talking about specific topics, uh, because we are actually in the midst of embarking on opening a second store that will be a mile away 
and we're on plan to open it by June of next year. That store will be larger than our current downtown store. But as part of that, there is a lot of change and a lot of discussions that we've had to have with board. Um, with board members, uh, we've also had our first holiday social uh, earlier this year where we enjoyed food as well as went out to have and participate in that very intense and grueling sport called bowling. <laughs> and uh, a great way to build relationships. But it's through those relationships that we believe when the unexpected comes, we're able to be resilient to those. We're able to respond to those. Usefulness. So trying to keep things simple. Uh, we know that we can sometimes overcomplicate things. So from that standpoint, we try to distill it down to really what is the essence of what we're trying to achieve, where we're trying to go, what we're trying to do. And so once again, Bamboo teaches us that we can keep things simple and we can think, keep things very efficient and functional and move on. And the last is around growth. Now I think all of you know in here that there has been tremendous growth, whether it be in the marketplace, whether it be in society around how things are constantly changing. And for us, we really stress growth within city market. But one of the ways that certainly I have embraced and really am a big supporter of over the years is around seeking feedback. Um, you, you might say that I am just fervent in wanting to get feedback often and across all levels. And I recognize that for some, this is a very uncomfortable and a very difficult place, especially if the feedback you receive is something that you can't readily accept. But I think there is great benefit when you think about the person who's giving you feedback, that they're sort of willing to give you and care enough to provide that feedback. And so for me, I believe you know, there is great benefit in that. So with that, I just really want to share with you a couple of things and have you think about being the bamboo. And I look forward to getting to know you through the rest of the day. Thanks so much. <laughs>